Yes. Yes, you can technically play Fortnite on a Mac computer directly on the computer. You can install it and run it locally. So what you do is you go to the Epic Game Store, as you can see here, and there it is, Mac, download Epic Games Launcher. Obviously, you download it and install it, just like you would anything else on your Mac, and you have the installer, I mean, sorry, the launcher here. And I already have Fortnite installed, but let me show you, in your library, it'll say, as you can see here, it'll say install, right? For this game, Rise of Industry, but over here, it'll say OS unsupported, OS unsupported, that means operating system, right? And so the ones that I currently own in uh, the Epic Store are pretty much, none of them are supported. However, Fortnite is. So if we go over here and we search up Fortnite in the store, and then we can click on it, right? And here's something interesting, even in the store, did I miss it? Show less. Here we go, system requirements. So it's weird, they got Windows, Windows Epic quality presets and Windows UEFN, Unreal Engine, Fortnite, whatever. But nothing about Mac here. All right, so, however, it lets you install it. Now, what does it actually let you do once you install it? Let's see. As it's loading, now I know you can play it, you can play Fortnite through GeForce Now, you can play Fortnite through uh, Amazon Luna Cloud Gaming, you can play Fortnite through Xbox Cloud Gaming, but really for a good experience, none of, the, none of those, none of their free versions are, are any good really. So here we have, as you can see, I, I'm sitting here working in Fortnite. So sign into my account down here. Just click on Play Battle Royale. And I've already tried this today. So I'm running at 110 FPS, 140 FPS. And here's the Mac that I'm on. I am on a MacBook Pro 2021. It's got an M1 Pro processor in it and 16 gigs of RAM. And it's a beast. It's a beast. So as far as performance goes, it runs it really, really well, as you can see. It runs it really well. So if I wanted to be a crazy person and turn this all the way up with everything on Epic, then we're sitting at 55, 60 FPS down at the bottom. However, I can't play anything, I, sort of. I got my locker, right? I can go through my locker. I can choose anything that's from this season or older. Let's see, what does it show you, the battle pass? I can't go there, compete, I can't go there. But as you can see, it's not the current season. And when I hit play, or hit me, let me go back, when I hit change game modes, these are my game modes. However, these won't load for me. I cannot get any of these game modes to load. It just loads for minutes and minutes and minutes and minutes and never will load. But creative will load. We can actually load into creative mode. Chat, if you wanna see anything more, just, just let me know in the comments and also, if anybody knows how to get the game to actually play in this game mode. So here I am, again, on a Mac computer, playing native Fortnite on a Mac. Uh, what are we running at? 55 frames per second on everything's on Epic. I think everything's on Epic. I'm pretty sure it is. So I'm, I'm in the game. I'm technically playing the game, right? Um, let's look over here. This is the only island that I can load. I don't know any island codes. But if you see, this one starts to load up, and then we get an error, an error. So we can't actually get into a game, unless somebody knows an island code that I can use. But my favorites don't show up here either. And I do have some favorites. So that is Fortnite on Mac OS. It's still the old chapter two, season four, I believe. And again, if anybody knows anything, anybody has any hints, anybody has any tricks, anybody has any bot lobbies that we can load into if they work, just so we can actually get in the map and, and, and see the chapter two, uh, season four. So yes, you can play Fortnite, sort of.